present moment of now because time does not exist so stay tuned hello my name is Ivo Arthur and this is God Man channel God having a human experience and human having a God experience this is what the channel is all about so Living in the present moment of now is one of the most uh, underrated and also one of the most simple aspect of life that we do not, most of the people, 99% of the people do not live in the present moment of now. Or if we do, it's very rare occasions where we actually live in the present moment of now. So for example, the most the uh, the moment where you are the most uh, aware of the present moment of now is actually when you are doing mindfulness meditation now many people think that to be in the present moment um, you cannot do that during your life like in daytime when you are working or something so you need to be actually meditating so what about when you are not meditating so there is something that I learned and I remembered throughout my spiritual journey and uh, it is something that we do since the very first moment even inside our mother's womb we are doing it, but through another system. And when we cut the uh, umbilical cord, umbilical cord or something like that, the cord, we actually have to start breathing through the nose, the lungs, and the entire system is energy. The air is energy itself. So we are being we are living, we are a living being system which needs air constantly flowing in a system of discharging CO2 and recharging uh, oxygen. So, when you are aware of this process of breathing, are you breathing right now? You might even a answer this question unaware or unpresent at that moment. But when you are truly aware, for example, when you see a movie, I'm not going to place yourself <laughs> underwater without breathing, but try to imagine a movie where somebody's drowning and they are full aware that they need that breathing and that's where they are in the most present moment of now because they truly are on the present moment they cannot think on the past or they cannot think on the future what they can all they're gonna think is through the survival mode is the present moment of now which is i need air so they they are 100 percent aware on that moment on the present moment now you're gonna think what I need a, a very bad situation to be in the present moment no I just want you to be aware that actually you can be every time in the present moment I don't say 100% because it's gonna be very difficult to manage and be aware all the time of your breathing your breath actually is the very present moment of now so for example Every time you are breathing, your body is doing that unconsciously or on automatic mode, but it's mostly unconsciously because even a baby, I, I, I have been observing my baby growing because I have that opportunity, I don't have a normal job, so I can be free, assist in his growth. So I have been observing him in all aspects of life, physical, mentally and spiritually. And I have learned a lot and I'm still learning. 
so how do we human beings grow okay um, so his breathing we mostly do not remember this first phase of time like the first year or the second year we rarely remember and in order to remember we need to access the unconscious mind information with by accessing the portal of unconscious mind that is within us through very deep and long moments of meditation and a lot of practice a lot of training till we can truly access that part of us which is unaware and so our body is already breathing on its own unconsciously and unaware of your awareness so you don't need to be aware that you are breathing and because it does that automatically but if you do become aware of your breathing for example right now I can start to feel that the body is actually needing needing my assistance to recover a natural breathing pattern so when we do not listen the body or we do not become aware or we are not aware of the body in a present moment of now our body is doing stuff unconsciously and it's not bad I'm not saying anything that's gonna be good or bad but try to imagine this way if your body is trying to communicate with you because it has a conscious on its own so body has a conscious uh, mind has a conscious on its own and your soul has its own spiritual consciousness so we actually have three consciousness and within the mind we have three consciousness so your body is actually being directly communicating with your mind unconsciously and it could be telling you that you need more water or you need more oxygen or you need this I need to do this because your body is constantly speaking to you it's saying now I'm hungry now I need this nutrition now I need that is not failing to you it's actually very aware now you are the one who might not be aware of your vehicle which is your body and so you are in this life form as a spiritual multidimensional being having a human body mind experience so you need your body mind as a tool in this lifetime right now on earth to conduct your life so even if you are a sp spiritual multidimensional being you still need to treat your body as best as you can so your body is communicating with you in a body level so it's gonna tell you exactly everything you need to have the best balance uh, middle path uh, the best body conditions to, to take care of himself so that you are in the best conditions ever for whatever uh, you want to achieve if you want to achieve enlightenment your body will start to prepare himself for enlightenment so it will tell you exactly what it needs to reach there but even if you don't wish anything your body is always maintaining itself to correspond to the life that you are having so if you are trying to I don't know try to maltreat the body with a lot of uh, bad nutrition uh, not nurture your body uh, enough your body is gonna ask and crave for stuff that by sending you a message and you do not listen it's going to start to eat or the opposite on its own you know even if you are not taking care of it so your body has a conduction on itself has a consciousness on its own and is taking care of itself on its own now you can be one with your body and embody yourself so that then you become all in one and then be one with everything and be totally connected or you can be apart from your body and that's what happens when you start to become unbalanced from your body 
and your body will start to have uh, stuff that it's not fully natural and it's gonna start to or eat itself if you are not giving all the nutrition or it's gonna starve or it's gonna be over uh, overfeeding himself but actually the body does not want that it wants to be in the most present moment of now alive and fully healthy for you now when you are aware of your breathing you start to become connected fully connected to the present moment of now like for example you see i listen to the body that i needed this deep breathing so right now when we are speaking we are disconnecting from the present moment of now because when we speak it's already too late compared to the thought the thought comes way faster than the speech and most of the times what you are speaking it doesn't correspond 100% to your thoughts so you already having or uh, you already having a mistransmission of what you firstly had so the idea is also a thought imagination also belongs to thoughts so it's all in this thought pattern but then there's the feeling and the feeling comes even before the thought which comes from the soul deeper thing so it's even faster so when you are speaking you are disconnecting from the present moment of now and that's why I already tried this on myself my brother does that even recently has done I can no longer do that because I'm in, fam in family and family requires communication now if you really want to connect to the very present moment of now it's the same as connecting to or reaching enlightenment because what I did to reach enlightenment but I still didn't reach because there was a decision I had to take I went to a dark room and stay there for three days in silence no technology nothing not even speaking no light no no noise let's say so no light no noise and no speaking no communication outer communication everything that is from the outer awareness I turn off during this time and then I fully connect to the present moment of now so I was able to communicate with my soul with God with my ego with the universe with mother nature all of that in a single talk in the single inner communication I was communicating already through telepathy so if you want to communicate telepathy or having these hidden powers activate these hidden powers within you you need to connect yourself to the very present moment of now that's where the magic happens because the present moment of now it's all what exists if you want to be like God or be like Jesus Christ be like Buddha whatever you're trying to achieve or awaken the highest consciousness ever you ever had in this lifetime awaken the the God within you whatever that is higher from you you have to connect to the present moment of now because it's the only line of existence because the past and the future does not exist it's just an illusion of the self now when you look to the past you are not actually looking behind of you but below you and when you are looking to the future you are actually looking upwards and not downwards or in front of you because we are vertical human beings we grow in a vertical way and so ascension is also upwards and descension is downwards I don't know if that exists that word so 
It doesn't mean that the future is the ascension itself because it's just an illusion. It does not exist yet. Like the ascension of yourself does not exist yet. It exists if you start to apply your entire being into the present moment of now. Then might start to exist, but it's a manifestation of your true self that is awaiting for you, awaiting you to be experienced. So in order for you to experience the higher version of yourself, you need to connect to the only existing line that exists, which is the present moment of now. Now, how can you achieve that? I didn't read this anywhere. This is pure myself journey, my own journey. <sighs> Your breathing is the air element. It is on your heart chakra level. So, first you have the earth element, then you have the water element, then you have the fire element, which is the solar plexus, the water is the sacral chakra, and the root chakra is the earth. And then you have the heart chakra, and the heart chakra is air element. So, if you want to become present, you need to connect to your heart chakra, which is pure love. Love is the very present moment of now. So if you live in love, you are actually not like in a love relationship like this. No, I say pure love, unconditional love will connect you to the very present moment of now. For example, when you give something to somebody and you experience this gratefulness from this being, that you just gave that, you will be connected to the present moment of now. When you have goosebumps, you are in the present moment of now. When you have a thought and you are transforming that thought into creation right now, you are in the present moment of now. Now, when you are thinking on something that already happened or what you have to do or working for the future, you will disconnect yourself from the present moment of now. So. When you think like this, have you been connecting yourself with God? You might say, no, I'm very disconnected. Try to see what matches with being disconnected from God. I can tell you what's making you disconnecting from God is your life experience is merely not even connected to the present moment of now. You have been living your life very disconnected from the present moment of now. For example, when you are worried, you are actually separating yourself or disconnecting from the present moment of now. Because worriness does not live in the present moment of now. The breathing lives in the present moment of now. Space element lives in the present moment of now. The earth element lives in the present moment of now. The water Everything that is connected to our main chakras will connect you to the present moment of now. As long as you are aware of it, because water can be also the past or the future if you let yourself. For example, you had an experience with water and you were trying to remember. Yes, it will bring you to that moment, so it's not the present moment of now. But when you turn on the water and you are listening the water and taking action over that moment and observe the water, you will connect to the present moment of now. That's why I was able to have a face-to-face -face meeting with God, a face-to-face -face meeting with Jesus and with my higher self and everything because, and it was different moments. All of those, those moments I actually connected with my very present moment of now and the magic happens. So. When I saw face to face Jesus, I didn't ask for Jesus to appear. Of course, I had a wish to to connect with Jesus Christ, of course, yes. But then I was in deep meditation during the day in nature on top of a rock in the island of France and it was quiet but have this nature sounds naturally. So the water running in a river it's a white noise. Then the birds, and the trees 
slightly leave the leaves of the trees like slightly moving with the wind so this little white noise of the wind like shh, and then the birds and the water I focus myself on the water sound this sound actually became me I became the sound of the water so I totally embodied myself with the water sound the stream and it, it cancelled all my thoughts so I became totally thoughtless and I instantly entered the meditation the present moment of now so I entered deep meditation so I was like maybe in alpha state and then I started to see right away some clouds with my eyes closed clouds passing by and it was like a dream like very soft like clouds, clouds, clouds. so after Jesus appeared I want to do this video especially in another occasion in another video so about Jesus and what was my experience so I just wanted to tell you that the present moment of now can be experienced and lived by being aware of your breathing try to be aware of your breathing all the time or most of the times as much times you can so every time you are aware of your breathing for example right now I'm communicating I'm getting out of the present moment so every time you are aware of your breathing you let yourself breathe but you just observe like you are a third person looking to yourself and say yeah you are breathing I'm observing it I'm listening I'm feeling it so that's how you observe the breathing without acting without being the breathing you you don't have to be the breathing because your body already does that unconsciously so the all all you're gonna do is observe because you have to be aware that even in a scientific level they can prove this atoms actually the atoms of light or something th this was the split experience uh, experiment when observer was there to see what happens they actually behave differently so when you pay attention and become told, fully aware of the moment itself of what's surrounding you what's happening right now and you are aware of it you actually change the molecules the cells the atoms you change everything in a quantum level in this reality which is an illusion as well and a spiritual reality behaves differently according to your decision so you are able to manifest your life from the present moment of now and if you do that in meditation it's even more powerful because sometimes you are meditating yes it does not mean that during meditation you are always on the present moment because even during meditation you can sometimes fall into a thought and sometimes this thought takes you to a moment where you are it's not related to the present moment of now so what you have to do is it doesn't mean it's wrong you can but if you want to be fully 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 connected to the present moment of now during meditation still and get the most of the benefits because sometimes you are meditating for one hour and you are like oh, it was like that meditation and sometimes you meditate a 15 minutes meditation or 10 minutes in the present moment of now and it feels like you it's the most powerful meditation you ever did because the Jesus when I saw Jesus I didn't stay there for one hour meditating not even 30 minutes it was very fast but the moment itself was so beautiful so magical so mesmerizing that it took me much longer fulfilling experience than the time itself so that's the magic it's the divine magic of being and living the present moment of now living in the now moment so when you are in meditation try to find a position that you you feel mid comfortable with 
So for example, not way too comfortable in, to the point that you're gonna fall asleep and not to the point that you are too rigid and it's actually uncomfortable. So try to find a middle path where you can stay. If you have to stay one hour, one hour 30 in this position, you can without falling asleep or without being way too uncomfortable. For example, I find this with the feet, for example, why I don't place myself like like make like this because I it's way too painful I can but it's gonna be way too painful so it's not gonna be a well position and when I do like this with a fit here and the other on the top you will see that this part of the leg is way higher than this one so it's not perfectly balanced with my being so what I do is I put slightly forward like that so like this so one here and another here. So now they are both on the same level and I can maintain this position for a very long time. And that's very important. So another thing of the present moment is apply the breathing technique. So you can even do this with the, with the eyes open. But then if you connect very to the present moment of now start to be aware of your breathing like I explained before take three deep long breath And don't be aware of the outer breathing, the breathing that you breathe outside of you. Be aware of your inner breathing, the breathing that goes within and goes here and then goes in. And feel your, your breathing energy going to your crown chakra, surrounding it and going all the way down to all your chakras. Even if it starts low, till here there will be a point where you can feel the breathing even going to the very bottom and going to the very top of you and starting to make this circle you will notice that even if you have any thought during meditation by watching and observing your breath it might come because there's a reason you might have to watch it observe the, the, the thought analyze it and see what has to be done according to that and everything but then you will start to slightly slowly but can be also very fast without expectations you cannot have expectations because expectations uh, disconnect you from the present moment of now so you have to be very aware of that so don't allow yourself to have expectations don't expect oh I'm gonna see Jesus oh I'm gonna see God no otherwise you will destroy the magic of the present moment of now become silent the silence within is the silence without even if there's a noisy noise outside you will remain silent not reactive to what's around you because you are absorbing your breath so you will achieve inner peace and connect with the very present moment of now where God truly exists God exists in the very present moment of now so there's mudras that you can do to apply your to apply different paths and all all those stuff stuff actually help you to connect more and more and more with the present moment of now but the breathing is the most important because breathing is the middle path have you noticed that the heart chakra is the middle path 
because you have three lower chakras and three top chakras. So the heart chakra is the middle path, is the, the little point that does not exist in the yin yang. So the yin yang is going to rotate, you are actually in the, in the center of the middle path where everything exists, the, magi the, the magic happens. So even if you are manifesting with your crown chakra, you are actually redirecting your energy towards the love because you have to create things out of love. You can manifest anything you wish through heart chakra, through unconditional love. And unconditional love is all about unconditional forgiveness, unconditional acceptance and unconditional love. So I was able to achieve the three steps and that's why I was able to see Jesus, to see God face to face and try to not become overactive or everything that is on excess. Uh, try to always catch the middle path. For example, if you are not good with money, don't reject money and do not over possess money. So try to find the middle path. For example, if you have enough and you are grateful and happy with that amount of money, you can pay your bills, you can live along everyone in the system, but then you are happy with yourself and you are contented with your true self and you can still thrive along your journey, then don't expect to whoa, weigh too much. It's okay. You are right on the path. Do not expect anything. Do not try to catch something that the universe and your higher self does not provide you because it doesn't see the point or that is the right time. So you will try to go against the universe. If you go against the flow of your higher self, your soul, your God uh, or the universe, you will actually, it's like swimming against against the, the current, the flow of the stream. You won't go anywhere. So find the balance within you, inner peace, connect with the present moment of now and observe your breathing. That's the best thing you can ever do is live the most, the best and the most times you can in the present moment of now by observing your breathing. So even if you are working or doing something else, you will, if you pay close attention to your breathing and even you are doing the job and everything and instead of diving into the thoughts, dive into your breathing and you will see that things will flow in a natural way and your life is going to become much, much, much better, but m way much better. You won't even see, but you will actually start to manifest your life in a very master way, master way. You become master of yourself by just living in the present moment of now and living in the now. That's very, very powerful. 99% of the people do not live in the present moment of now. So if you do that, you're going to be one of the only 1% of the people that actually master their own true selves. That's how powerful it is to live in the present moment of now. So, stay present and celebrate because life is now. My name is Ivo Arthur. This is Godman Channel. Thank you for watching. Namaste and see you in the next video. Peace.